Let's see. So far we've touched on television, sports, news, medicine. But wasn't one of the biggest stories this year really Wall Street? Corporate scandal? Greed? So where are all the good guys in this bad news? How about Sharon Watkins? Remember her? It was a year of scandal. A year when sophisticated accounting hid simple thievery. In fact, if you stood outside America's courthouses, you could see some of the most lavishly paid corporate executives in America coming and going in handcuffs. The numbers were mind-boggling. Over 175 billion in pension funds were lost. The stock market lost a third of its value, over 1.6 trillion dollars. And then there was the number nine. That's the number of times former Enron CEO Jeff Skilling told a congressional hearing, I am not an accountant. 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 I, accountant. Accountant. I don't know. I'm not an accountant. The most important number, though, might be one. The one person at Enron who spoke out, Sharon Watkins. I am Sharon Watkins. I hold a master's degree in professional accounting. Watkins was a senior vice president at Enron. When she examined Enron's books, she found massive fraud. She was afraid at first to speak out. I, I did believe it would be a job terminating move. And that wasn't all she was worried about. Why would you be worried about your personal safety? Because it was the seventh largest company in America. When CEO Jeff Skilling resigned, she went to the new CEO, Kenneth Lay, with documents and a memo. But Lay did nothing. And I was incredibly frustrated because I do think Mr. Lay missed a small window of opportunity to salvage the company by ig ignoring the obvious. In the end, Enron was worth almost nothing. There were swindlers in the emperor's new clothes um, discussing the fine material that they were weaving. In the sleek, high-powered corporate world, it's hard to tell what's real. But there is another world. In Tomball, Texas, where Sharon Watkins led the Thanksgiving Day Parade this year, it's easier to tell what's real and what isn't. Sharon grew up here, running the cash register in her uncle's supermarket. Money was not an abstract concept. It's a place where small-town virtues still hold sway. In Tomball, people speak their minds. Businesses give value for a dollar. And the small change of daily life is old-fashioned decency. Nearly everyone in Tomball knows Sharon Watkins. Hey, Sharon! We're proud of you! No one was surprised she spoke out. In a year when it was hard for even sophisticated investors to know what had value anymore, no one could doubt the value of courage.